Now, SpaceX just launched its second batch of Starlink satellites on Monday. It's another step toward yeah, Elon Musk's vision for a worldwide network of space-based internet. A Falcon 9 rocket was launched at 9.56 a.m. local time from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. SpaceX launched its first batch of satellites back in May. Now, joining us to discuss is Bloomberg's Dana Hull. Dana. Uh, tell us about today's launch and why this was somewhat significant. Yeah, so Elon Musk has a vision of a space-based internet, and to do that, they need to put thousands of satellites up in space, and they're doing so in batches of 60. So the first 60 went up in May, the second batch was today. They hope to do about four more launches within the next six months or so, and they're hoping to start service to uh, the northern U.S. and parts of Canada next year. And so what is space-based network exactly? I can kind of envision what it is, but is this kind of a new uh, a new idea? I mean, I think it's like the idea is faster, more reliable internet access from space. I mean, you talk to anybody who has internet here in the U.S., and even in cities, there's lots of glitches, there's huge swaths of rural America that don't have broadband at all. And so a lot of companies, not just SpaceX, but OneWeb, Bezos, are looking at a space-based internet system to kind of improve service. And so do you imagine that SpaceX may someday uh, be my Comcast competitor, or will this be a partner of someone like uh, Comcast, an existing player? Like, how does they fit into this? Space? I would imagine that it would be a competitor. I mean, SpaceX is looking at this as a source of revenue for them, and they really need a lot of revenue if they want to create a human colony on Mars. They're not going to get there just from the launch provider alone. Well, I was just going to ask about the business motivations here. So this is uh, this is going to pay for the the Mars uh, colony. It sounds like. Yeah, I mean, and, and you'll want to have an internet on Mars, also, right? So I mean. It's sort of a two for one, you know, revenue for the company as it continues to grow and then eventually, you know, internet to everyone in space. I know you said they're going to send these in multiple batches. Is there any realistic timeline for when something like this might be uh, readily available? Well, SpaceX has said that they hope to begin providing targeted service in 2020. You know, Musk always sets very ambitious deadlines, doesn't always meet them. But I mean, it, so if they seem, if they're working, I think once they get enough up there, they can begin trying it at least on a trial period. It seems like these rocket launches are really uh, routine now for SpaceX almost. I don't know, oh, yeah. it sounds almost dismissive to say they're routine, but that's how it feels. How does it feel to you? Is this becoming the kind of thing where uh, uh, they're, they're kind of able to do this with their eyes closed? Kind of, I mean, I remember like two or three years ago when they were trying to land a rocket on the drone ship for the first time and every time they tried they would like miss the ship or it would land on the ship and explode or it would land on the ship and fall over and now they, they're just nailing these landings and they're increasingly reusing and recycling the rockets so the rocket that launched today has already flown three previous times they also are recovering the fairings they're just it's very, becoming it is becoming very routine yeah and I know that they uh, deliver a lot of satellites for clients to space as well do you get the sense at all that uh, SpaceX decision to kind of do this on their own. Does that pose a competitive threat to some of the people they've previously done business with? Yeah, it's interesting because, I mean, they are certainly one of the leading launch providers for the world's global satellite operators. Now they're also launching their own satellites. But I think it's sort of different if you look at, you know, the big satellites that the military and commercial operators use versus the smaller satellites that SpaceX is trying to string together. And is there anybody in the industry who's kind of trying to do something similar to this? I think you mentioned Blue Origin earlier on in the conversation or, you know, are there government that are that are attempting to kind of do the same thing. So OneWeb is trying to do this, and Bezos is very interested in this. It's not Blue Origin; it's actually an Amazon project called Project Kuiper. Okay, so different, so similar yeah. ties to Bezos, but not but necessarily not, Blue not Origin. Blue Origin. Yeah. Okay.